Hello friends, this is DMC um, and this is my coffee of the month video for November and December uh, 2021. Not many new coffees this month, I've been drinking a ton of repeat um, coffees what I've already reviewed which I'll just um, show you quickly. So let's um, get these out of the way. So what I've actually been drinking is as usual, a ton of the um, Aldi House Blend coffee beans. I was actually intending to drink those over the Christmas period, but when we went to the Aldi, um, they only had the French Blend cheap um, stuff, so I ended up drinking that over Christmas, which wasn't the best um, thing to do. Coupled with having um, COVID, it wasn't a very good um, Christmas this year. And also the Italian blend. I drank one bag of that and I've also been drinking an absolute ton of um, Starbucks coffees. I've probably purchased these um, when they were on offer in Tesco. So... That is what I've been drinking over most of um, November and December and also the espresso ground coffee which I haven't actually reviewed um, in brick form so I may go back and get another bag of this just to give it a quick review. I think they want to review that this was in a tin so this was in brick form that one. So that is the coffees I've already reviewed. Let's take a look now at the coffees from, well, these first lot will be from November and the second lot will be from December. This one was a coffee that was very kindly sent to me by viewer Brian. It's the Strebla Coffee Roastery, Monsoon Malabar, and very nearly my coffee of the month, this one, but lost out only because I slightly preferred um, the winner more. This is an unusual light roast monsoon Malabar. It's nutty and spicy and really good quality. And that scored a quite high um, 4.25 out of 5. The next coffee is Alfie's Coffee Co. This is their Swiss Water Decaf. And... I really enjoyed the April and Calab roast from Alfie's Coffee Roaster, but was really disappointed with this one. A very basic, generic decaf taste. I didn't enjoy this one very much, and that scored 3 out of 5. Pretty similar to a sort of supermarket decaf, that one. The next coffee is Taylor's of Harrogate. It's their Christmas blend. A nice blended coffee, full bodied, nutty and spicy, so a decent coffee that sort of got you in the Christmas mood um, with that festive hint to the taste. It got 3 out of 5 that one, bar humbug. And the next one, I got this one from Home Bargains. This is the Mr and Mrs Milk Coffee Roastery. It's the Espresso um, Coffee Pods. These were a big improvement from the Lungo pods I reviewed from the same brand. Um, these were quite interesting with fruity, um, biscuity, caramel hints. And not bad, it got a 3 out of 5. The next coffee is the Costa Coffee Honduran uh, Ground Coffee, this one. Single origin. A bit bland, but has an interesting, nice apple hint that just pulled it out of that uh, blandness. I was relatively impressed when comparing it to Costa Coffees I've reviewed in the past. And I really enjoyed drinking it, this one, and it scored 3.25 out of 5. But my coffee of the month for November and December, and I think this one was drunk at the very end of December, this one. Another one that was sent to me by viewer Brian, so a big thank you to him. 
It's the Columbia Coffee Roasters. It's the Federation Campesina Coffee Beans. Colombian um, cacao coffee this one. A unique and interesting coffee with a very unusual tropical fruit tint. It was really good quality and not like any Colombian coffee I've tried before. Not fully to my taste but a fantastic coffee and it scored 4.25 out of 5. So that was my coffee of the month. So um, I'd really like to hear from anyone if you've drank any of these coffees or let me know what you was drinking over the Christmas period. Let me know in the comments section below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more coffee reviews in the future, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Thank <laughs> you.